everybody knows what a book or a video is. So you read it or watch it. But nothing changes over time. This is in my world, static content. Why am I saying that? Because static, all the information right now are static. Information, as you know. Why is static? Because they don't look over the web to update itself. So it gets outdated immediately. I want to give you three seconds just to imagine all of them in your daily life. So even if you think that you don't read traditional books or watch traditional videos, you are still using them. Still, you have a very deep sort of DNA of program and bad habit of using the traditional book format. I have a dream of changing and improving the online education. Nowadays, we as civilization need to compress this knowledge to make it available for the next generation and to keep pace with the technological development. And the solutions start being dynamic. Good morning, my name is Marcos Vargas and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Fractalab. Now, I want to tell you my story. A few years ago, while I was working for, a French, for the French Atomic Center in a research project, I was like this, frustrated of how hard it was to get relevant information, important information, and updated information, and the most importantly, adapted to my learning style. So, if this happened to me in a research lab, is it happening to anybody else in high schools, in universities? And the answer? The answer was yes. And it's still yes, because they are using the old book format. I realized that millions of people were suffering this huge problem in different topics. The fact is that when the information is growing, the last priority is its quality, its relevance. Wait a minute. Millions of people suffering this problem every day. So this is a huge problem for us and for the next generation. The thing is that we want to change this. My team and I believe that the power of knowledge can magnify people's lessons. That's why we started to filter the noisy world of education, the online education, crawling the web in different topics. For each topic, we crawl the web in five main topics, namely text, video, software, and audio. I want to introduce how does Fractalab's algorithms work. We process this huge amount of data in three steps. Process, select, and classify. This is a huge, type, a huge task to make it dynamic, to always be dynamic looking around and to generate dynamic videos like this. We are dynamic. What do we mean by being dynamic? That we look constantly over the web in the five categories to know what is happening around. And we want to go further. How? Usually the content that we have are cool, are traditional. We are inserting the feelings and emotions in all of them. My generation and the generations to come has a lot of things to learn. That's the challenge. I want to show you part of the, of the product. How does it work in a brief demo? So part of the program and part of the feedback that we have received from our private demo in our, with our early adopters is huge. For example, I have some of the comment that after launching our first demos, uh, they say, for example, this is a part of them. This is actually from one of the chemistry content. And the student says, this is actually, uh, it's easier to visualize reactions of the chemistry content that when you are mixing step by step, that when the book says these two are mixed. 
Another interesting thing, in the same thread, another boy comment with a smile icon. I thought molecules were just like numbers until they start interacting with each other. This is a challenge that makes us confirm that this new way of learning is now empowering and profoundly engaging students. And, and we make it also better because they are learning faster. When they take exams, they see this kind of results to track their progress in different domains, physics, history, feed. Our natural fractal of learning is a mathematical method that, is, that help us track how they learn on the web. Just an example. When you have a topic A, that topic A is basically based in four other topics, B, C, D, E. And that topics are also based in other four topics again. So this mathematical concept makes us easy to track their progress on the web and to generate their personalized video for them. Uh, this research project in education, we are pushing this research project in education uh, during the past six months. And some of the traction that we have received is from MIT Technology Review, Intel Challenge, Cairo Society in Silicon Valley, some of the top uh, companies uh, through the Hello Tomorrow Challenge in Paris, and for the first initiative for the Peruvian government, that's called Startup Peru. And obviously, uh, give thanks to, uh, to Qatar Foundation for this opportunity to show part of our results. And thank you, you, for being here and the way that we are improving the dynamic education over the web. Thank you.